Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us, and welcome to Game Night in the Region on the Region Sports Network, streaming worldwide on the internet at facebook.com slash regionsports and regionsports.com. We come to you tonight from Lake Central High School as the Region Sports Network presents the Lake Central Indians taking on the Chesterton Trojans in a boys soccer showdown. I'm Michael Brandon. I'll have the play-by-play -play for tonight's game. And joining me with the color analysis, the one and only Lawrence Babcock. Larry, how are you, my friend? I'm great, Michael. How are you, buddy? Oh, you know, I am just enjoying this evening. It's been a fun JV game. So glad that we're getting this one in tonight after, uh, after a senior night uh, festivities as well. I'm ready to go, baby. Yeah, it's going to be a fun night. Uh, you know, this is always a really good ma dueling conference matchup between Chesterton and Lake Central. It's usually always for the top of the conference, and uh, I expect an exciting match here to this evening. This will definitely have implications in the conference standings as both teams come in tonight in the conference standings 5 and O oh in what is seems to be the loaded Doonland across any sport that you're talking about, football or football. Uh, five and O, oh, both these teams in conference play. Valparaiso not far behind though, four and one. So we'll have to see how things play out here. Only a few games left of the regular season. Yeah, and Valpo's only loss in the conference came to Chesterton in a six nothing uh, loss uh, just last week. So. Um, you know, uh, obviously Valpo's right in the mix, you know, Lake Central, Chesterton. Um, and, and really, you, you can't really count out Portage in that mix either. Um, you know, Laporte's usually pretty decent right in the running. Um, but this should be an exciting matchup tonight. Yeah, we got a couple of teams in the Class 3A uh, coaches poll, or the, uh, the AP poll, if you will. I think it's the coaches poll, actually. So Chesterton comes in at number three, Valpo at number six. Lake Central at number nine, and then Munster at fourteen. So, a lot of a uh, lot of region teams in that uh, top of the bracket there, or top of the uh, top of the polls, if you will. So, and it's always good to be having region teams in the top of those polls for sure. Yeah, it absolutely is, and it's um, you know it's usually the consistent ones with Munster, Chester, and LC. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at the top of those polls and or in those polls, and. Um, you know, obviously Chesterton coming, you know, defending state champs in Class 3A um, from last year with that 7-1 victory over Castle. That, you know, obviously puts a target on their back a little bit, no matter who they're playing. Chesterton comes in 11-0-1. They are 6-0 on the road, as we mentioned, 5-0 in the Doolin. They have scored at least three goals in all but one of their games, and they have only given up Four goals total on the year. One of those we saw right here on the Region Sports Network against Crown Point. But man, oh man, Ethan Bodecker is quite the goalkeeper for this Chesterton Trojan team. Well, and he, and he took over for a really good Charlie Eaton last year mm -hmm. who graduated. Um, so for him to, to come in with not a ton of playing time, coming in behind a, a guy who was in, in the box for them, uh, for several years, and Charlie Eaton, that's pretty impressive what what he's been able to do in the in the penalty area. Yeah, Nathan and I had that game over at Chesterton uh, last week, uh, a week literally a week ago today, and he we were so impressed. He was our Crow Company's Lantern Man superhero of the game as a result of his amazing goalkeeping. Because Crown Point did have a lot of pressure on to get him to try to get goals, and yeah, he was just absolutely spectacular. Uh, as for Lake Central, they are changing goalkeepers. They've had Dominic Orchu as their goalkeeper for a good chunk of the season, but now it's going to be Jacob Schraka who is going to be in the net for Lake Central. Uh, a little interesting to make the change midway through the season, but uh, sometimes if it opens up the eyes of a, of a player sometimes to make things a little bit better for the team, if this is what help, helps going to win the ball game for your team, then, hey, you got to make the change. Credit to Shane Cloutier. Yeah, and, you know, again, the, the mentality may be with, with Coach uh, Cloutier that, you know, if a guy gets hurt, you know, it's got to be next man up, so get him a big game experience and get him ready for the tournament because uh, the reality is we're only a couple weeks away from postseason play in soccer. Yeah, absolutely. It is, it is right around the corner, so we will get started with that. And Lake Central comes in 9-2-2. Two, and two. Their losses come to Penn and Munster, that game you saw right here on the Region Sports Network. And then they had ties against South Bend, St. Joe's, and Trinity out of Kentucky. They've only given up two goals. Uh, they've only given up more than two goals once this season. It was a 4-0 loss 
to Penn. So they also have uh, it's going to be a really hard, low-scoring game, I feel like, just because of the fact that they've got some really good goalkeepers. We'll see how Jacob Schraka does in the net today, even though it was Orchu who had most of the net minding for Lake Central this evening. And we're going to tune you into the local Lake Central starting lineup announcers. Let's go ahead and take a listen to them. I apologize. We'll go ahead and announce those starters for you. We don't have a. I was told we don't have a crowd mic this evening. That's all right. All right, here we go. Chesterton starting lineup. Ethan Bodecker will be in the net today for Chesterton. Matteo Guerrero, Jacob Perkins, Tommy Oros, Caden Donella, Gage Torres, Ryan O'Dell, Liam Grimes. Gage Cooper, um, Cooper, excuse me, Josh Wadowski, and then Matt Marmalejo, all in the starting lineup for the Chesterton Trojans today. And those are the guys you see in the white jerseys on your screen there. All right, let's go ahead and take a listen to the Lake Central starting lineup. But I'll tell you, it is Jacob Schraka in the net today for Lake Central. Quentin Enyart, the senior. Ben Putch, Sam Egnance, Jacob Noldeen, Trey Adams, Miller Nestrick, Michael Miljevic, Charlie Newton, Jackson McCabe, and Ryan Motter. All your starters tonight for the Lake Central Indians. 3-1-1 one one at home are the Indians this season. Number 16, a sophomore, Michael Miljevic. Number 17, a sophomore, Charlie Newton. So like Central giving their Number hands 16, up in the home blue Jackson jerseys McKay. this evening. Number 23, a senior, Ryan Motter. And in goal, number zero, Jacob. You know, there, there is always something going on here at Lake Central. We've got a nice varsity soccer matchup here, a marquee matchup between these two these two schools, and you got a middle school football game going on in the distance. Yeah, always always a happen in place athletically. All right, we are just about set for the national anthem, so we will get tuned in for that. A great rendition of our national anthem. Learning, I'm a little disappointed. I was I was told that uh, our friend Jeff Rohde might be doing the national anthem tonight, singing. So I was hoping he would sing, but he respectfully declined this evening. Let's take a look at our Wednesday night forecast, brought to you by our friends at Economy Electric Heating and Cooling. Wednesday night forecast: a balmy 59 degrees outside as we get set for game time that is brought to you by Economy Electric Heating and Cooling, keeping you cool in the summer and cozy in the winter. All right, teams are meeting in their respective huddles and breaking that huddle now and we are just about set for the start of another soccer match here on the Region Sports Network, the third on the Region Sports Network if I remember correctly. 
I guess I should know. I think I've done all of them. <laughs> it's been a long week, and it's only Wednesday. All right. Getting ready to kick things off. It'll be Chesterton to get the ball first, and they will come left to right on your screen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are set for an interesting game this Wednesday evening. Kicking it straight ahead. Trying to find the header here. Is Lake Central going to try to take over here as Trey Adams? This one kicked to the back of the net over there. And Jacob Schrocker will pick that one up on the other, other end over there. So Lake Central will take over here with a, with a goal kick. Larry, did you uh, did you play soccer when you were younger? Uh, you did not. No. A lot of a lot of ref refereed the game for 15 years and okay, been in the center of this particular uh, duel many many times. Are we in for like some bruise bruises going on uh, here in this one here? This is usually a very physical match. Um, I believe this match may have resulted in a potential scuffle right here on the near sideline last year, if I'm not mistaken. This one taken now by Agnes, trying to feed into the middle. Nestrick. And it all really depends on how much and they... Kick this one through and into the net, and nice stop there by Bodecker on the ground. It all really depends on how much they let them play and how hard they're going to let the tackles go tonight. So we know if you were out there, these guys would be literally mauling each other over. Uh, uh, yep. <laughs> now play on. <laughs> you broke your leg? Now nah, you're fine. <laughs> Rub some dirt on it. Keep if moving. It, if it wasn't a foul in basketball, it wasn't a foul in soccer. <laughs> <laughs> this one shot and almost picked up by Shraka, but it never got all the way to him. He was ready for the save, though. Saved up front. It might have been Quentin Enyart with that save up in front of the goal. Be a corner kick for Chesterton here. So they will kick from the far corner over there. So Chesterton trying to keep it here on this end. They'll feed off to that far side. We are fully under the lights here at Lake Central. Kind of a later start than we're used to. I had a lot of uh, nice adjectives to describe the sky we had a little bit earlier on this evening, but that has since gone away. This one headed in front of the net. Chesterton's still trying to push one through, and it'll That's go to the wide spot of the net. Big <laughs> Central trying to keep this one here in the center circle. Big Central really not having a drive so far here in this one. It's been all Chesterton trying to keep it in their zone. Lake Central going to come up with their first opportunity here, potentially, feeding this one ahead. Looks like Noldine off to that left or far side of the of the pitch. Trying to kick this one through, and it's going to be stopped by Bodecker. Nice stop early on as the that was a nice shot comes in there. Sorry, go ahead. That was a nice strike there, and, and uh, Bodecker did a nice job of keeping that out of the net. Really high kick there as Alexandra wants to try to send it back. And then this will go past the touch line. So it'll be a throw in for Chesterton. Throw in will be made by Mateo Guerrero. And we will have a Guerrero down. And the clock will stop with 36 20. There's going to be a caution here. That's going to be the first caution of the night. Ryan Odell is going to pick up that caution. So based on that uh, that first call there, what are you, these guys going to get to play a little bit more? Or are they going to get uh, have to play a little bit tighter? How is this? Yeah, I I think it was a good card. It was you know he came in cleats up and kind of got him. Anytime you're going in cleats or studs up, they're you're susceptible to get that card. And the official going to talk to Shane Cloutier over there on the other end. Of the pitch. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Donella kicks this one ahead. Lake Central going to head this one out, try to get it cleared a little bit here. They'll have a chance on that far side, but it's taken away by Chesterton. But Lake Central going to come back up with it, trying to feed it ahead into no man's land. Chesterton takes it back. And Lake Central has got to be better about finding feet on their passes, not just putting it in no man's land, but getting the ball upfield, finding feet and controlling the pace of the, and the tempo of this match. This one fed way down the field here. Picked up ahead. Chesterton trying to keep with that one there. It was fed to Motter as Motter was trying to take that one, but Chesterton going to come up with it. Free kick here. And you kind of see right away why this is always intense. They're physical right now. We've already had a caution within the first five minutes of this match. A couple of fouls. So one kicked ahead. Like Central going to try to get this one away. Agnance here on this near side trying to feed into the middle. That's to Newton. So one kicked back to Agnance here on the near side. Off to Noldine on the left with the bright shoes. Trying to get some separation there. He's going to kick it around. Nice footwork on that left side. Trying to kick it into the goal, but it's going to be just a little wide and kicked behind the net. Under 35 minutes to go here in this opening half from Lake Central High School. We do got the whole crew out tonight. Got myself, Larry Badcock, and then uh, Nathan Laird is here just making sure... Things go well. He's our muscle. He's our uh, he's our bodyguard here to this evening, making sure everything stays good. Zach Miller up working the camera tonight. Uh, you may not be able to see it on the camera all that well, and I don't know. It looks like it may have died down a little bit, but it is uh, nope. It is still really windy up there. I'm sure he's probably shaking his head. Yet, yeah, yeah, Michael, it is. Chesterton stealing this one. They do have some numbers here to try to help them out. Feeding or going ahead. That's Cooper. Cooper. Off to the right, trying to feed to Odell, but that one was stolen away. This one, a nice tackle there. Picking that one up, that's Marmolejo. And this one now will go past the touch line and out, and this should be a throw-in for Chess. Or no, it didn't go out. Okay. Excuse me. That was a nice job by Anyard from Lake Central to step in and, and kind of stop that run there going towards the goal. Grimes trying to feed that one, and Marmalejo kicks this one ahead. And last but not least, the last guy on our crew is the one uh, making sure everything sounds good, and is Evan Kaposi. Agnes loses that one on the foot, but he's able to keep here. Trying to feed this one through into the middle. Trying to push that one through, and a shot on goal, but it is... Blocked by Bodecker. That was Putch trying to get that one through and get the first goal of the game. And right now, Lake Central is doing a really nice job of putting the pressure on that on the defensive end of the ball for Chesterton, probably more so than what Chesterton's doing to Lake Central. Certainly a chance here feeding off to that left side. Trying to get a strike going here. They do, and it's just off. I believe it was off the foot of... The Chesterton player, he may have blocked his own his own uh, own team's goal there. He did, and he kicked it right back in to uh, Chakara there to uh, get the save. Trying to see that number. That was number 14 for Chesterton. So that was Odell that may have gotten that block there, an inadvertent block. And it looked like a golden opportunity for Chesterton to get the first goal, uh, first goal of the game. And those types of plays, these are, you know, goals are going to come at a premium with the way these two teams play defensively. Like Central trying to feed ahead on that far side. Trying to cross this one through, and it's going to go out for a corner kick for Lake Central. I'm a little bit surprised. Just under 32 minutes to play. A little bit surprised that Lake Central is not running a trap here, trying to catch Chesterton off sides. And here comes the corner kick, and it's headed away by Chesterton. Kept in there by Agnance. Tackle tried to be made here, like Central trying to keep. Certainly a physical game, as you mentioned, Don. 
in this one. Trying to feed it into Bodecker. Oh. oh, and it just forgot it along the way. Bodecker jumps on top of it, though. We mentioned at the very start, everything was kind of staying off to our right here. So Lake Central was playing defense, and now all of a sudden Bodecker's fighting for his life down there. And yeah, Martyr did a nice job following that. He just couldn't get a boot on it to put it in the back of the net. Far side of the pitch, that was Marmalejo feeding this one ahead, but Lake Central going to intercept that one. Here's Noldine. Feeding off to the right. Nice run up that far sideline. Trying to feed this one again to Bodecker. The header, and it is, it is in. not. It is in. It crossed the goal line. It is in for a goal for Lake Central. We will have a replay of that in just a moment, but it's an early goal for Lake Central. 1-0. So the assistant referee had that ball clearly crossing the the uh, the touch line or the end line in the goal. And All right, let's take a look at the replay here, the region sports replay. It did come down after it hit the crossbar at the top. I hope we can see that again, Nathan. All right, we're going to run it in slow motion here, which is... Which is what I like. That's usually how I move. Yeah, it hit the crossbar and came straight down, and they did indicate it was a goal. So 1-0 Lake Central. And, again, that's a result of Lake Central putting constant pressure on that the back four of Chesterton. Punch back to Noel Dean here. Trying to feed back into the middle. Now, what does this do if you are Chesterton? You, If I were to ask anybody, I would say that overall they would probably think that Chesterton might have more of the advantage, might be the more skilled team out here tonight. How does this play into the psyche of Chesterton? I mean, I can't, I, I haven't watched every one of Chesterton's games. I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say this is the first time they have trailed this season. Yeah, probably. I mean, Chesterton's playing really lax right now. You know, their defense is, is staying back instead of coming up and playing a trap. Lake Central's doing a nice job of pressuring that defensive line and, and putting shots on goal and putting pressure uh, on Bodecker. Twenty-nine minutes, eighteen seconds to go in this opening half, and it's already been full of drama already. Lake Central up one nil. Again, feeding the middle. Chesterton trying to intercept that one can't, and we it is going to be Chesterton ball here. Per the official, Marmalejo. So in the eighth minute, Ryan Moner gets the goal for Lake Central. Chesterton trying to get something going here. They're not used to being in this position of being down 1-0. They're usually up 1-0 within the first couple minutes of any ball game they're in. Chesterton's kind of keeping things compact. They're really not spacing it out much as that gets deflected into uh, Shiraco. But Chesterton's got to space the field out more. They got to they got to get Lake Central running. They're not they're not keeping space. They're not doing you know play in possession enough to where, you know, they're getting Lake Central's defense spread out. A lot of body contact there. Guys trying to keep things in their own end zone. Kruper over there trying to keep it in. And the throw-in is going to be for Lake Central. Trying to feed it down here near Cy. That's Mauter who scored that goal. For Lake Central early on here. Mamalejo trying to feed the middle. This one intercepted, though, by Putch. Trying to feed it back to the goalkeeper, Donella. One guy to look for for Chesterton. Ooh. Oh, we got an, a trip, and we'll see what call is going to be here. I don't think it's going to be a card. I, I honestly think he just tripped over himself, and the Chesterton kid was right standing right there. I don't think there was any intent there. Trying to tell if that was Adrian. It looked like Guerrero, but one guy to keep in mind here to watch in this one is Marmalejo. Tries to feed in here. This one shot. Often trying to get the header in, but Perkins is a guy to definitely watch. Number nine for Chesterton. Trying to feed this one into Shraka. It's no good. Like Centro, here's Noel Dean. Going to kick this one straight ahead, trying to keep that from going too far. 
There's Your side here, here's Oros. He scored a goal for Chesterton in that game against Crown Point last week. Missed opportunity for Chesterton not following up on that ball that came right out of the keeper's hands. Punch far side of the pitch there. Chesterton steals this one away. Our side for the Lake Central bench now, trying to feed. They have a wide open player. That's Perkins here. No, I'm sorry. That is Cooper here off to the right. Our near side was wide open. Had an easy path to the net if they could have passed it over. Across the field over here. Chesterton now trying to get something going here. Lake Central going to clear this one. This is Cooper feeding inside now. The header out for Lake Central. Clear again. This is a nice clear for Lake Central. Literally all the way down the other end of the other end of the field there. I believe that was Motter on this near side. Corner kick for Lake Central. And of course, naturally the opposing defensive player is going to have a little bit of a disagreement with that. Looks like we got a pair of subs coming in for Lake Central. Substitutions for Lake Central. So that far side, it was Donella trying to keep that one in who had the discrepancy with with the official as we have 25-10 left to go in this opening half. Trying to feed this one in, and it will be over the net. Bodecker kind of just watched that one float right over his head there as we're under 25 to play in the opening half. So Lake Central is keeping up their pressure here, Larry. This, are they going to be able to maintain this the entire game will be the question. Well, I, th I think they need to if they, they want to continue to win this game and put more balls in the back of the net. At, at some point, Cheston is going to find their next gear, and they're going to – put some pressure on that Lake Central defense. Chesterton clearing, getting into their own offensive end there. Agnan's trying to keep that one there. That was very close to potentially being a boot to the face. These players always continue to amaze me of their abilities here. This one kept nicely. This is Kruper on that right side. Off the right foot, trying to keep it here. Can it stay in? It can, but it's going to be kicked out. It's going to be a corner kick for yep. Chesterton. And it was off of the like central defender there. Corner kick for Chesterton. These guys are doing footwork with with the ball and you know getting around guys and maneuvering. And I can't even walk straight. Nice deflection there by uh, Shiraka. I'm surprised you let that one go. You didn't. Uh, you yeah, know. you know. <laughs> I, I left a wide open. I mean, that was. I mean, that was a wide open layup for you. Uh, I'm not mid season form yet. <laughs> give me, give me, a, give me a little bit to get uh, caught back up here. I was gonna say this is your first broadcast in a little while, right? Uh, at least since basketball season. It has been a while. Like Central trying to clear it out of their own zone, a defensive zone here. Off to the right. And I'd be remiss if I also, uh, I know Nathan Laird's my normal broadcast partner here for soccer, but uh, we're letting you fill in tonight and doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> letting me fill in. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know a little bit about the game. I wasn't discrediting you. <laughs> letting me but, fill in. But to be fair, and this is where I'm getting this, this no. the point I was going to make is Nathan is Mr. 2 and 0. Oh. He's 2 and 0 oh in his coaching career. That's right. That's pure. And his own daughter even scored scored a goal in the last game. Very very first career goal. That was very exciting. Yeah, you may not be in mid-season form, but I am. So. Yeah, yeah, that's that is true. You've had a few more broadcasts. Well, that's you know, a couple guys going down there. We'll see what the officials decide to call. Looks like it's going to be a th uh, uh, free kick. Yep, it's going to be a, and they call it foul on Lake Central. Free kick for Chesterton. 
And that one got kicked way over the heads of everybody, the wall of people that were over there. Another substitution coming in for Lake Central. Substitution for Lake Central. Trying to see if I can get a number for that player, but he won't turn. It is number nine, Evitic. Nikola Evitic comes in for Lake Central there. And Chesterton, 21 minutes to try to even this one up at one. Nodine gets taken down. And that was from behind. And he's staying down. He'll get back up, though. Lake Central trying to get this one on the near side. Looked like McCabe for Lake Central. He got knocked down. Like Chesterton trying to clear now. Getting that one was Newton into the middle. Nice little touch there. Again, senior night here at Lake Central for the senior members of this Lake Central squad. And I believe they have homecoming this week as well on Friday. Um, we'll be here th for that for, uh, for high school football as well, Michigan City Lake Central. Good cross. Oh, nice header. Oh, almost a header under the crossbar off the head of Ignance. It hits the crossbar. Man, that was a great header. Just missed going in the back of the net. This one fed into the middle. Chester trying to get this one out. That's two golden opportunities for Lake Central. They capitalize on one. We'll take a look at a region sports replay here in just a moment. Chesterton driving on that other end. This one going to be taken for a corner kick now. Oh, my goodness. That was definitely Egnance that... Got that one very close, hitting the crossbar of the goal. So still 1-0 Lake Central. This one going just wide of the net for Chesterton. So Shrock didn't have to worry about that one, but it went to the right side of the net. Some good pressure on both keepers here as uh, we're just under uh, 20 minutes to play. And it's not like either one of these guys are seniors either. Bodak are a junior. Shraka is a senior. I'm sorry, is a sophomore, excuse me. Not a senior. And you're teaching our uh, future of America right here. Huh? Actually, believe it or not, I had Shraka in class a couple years ago. <laughs> See, there you go. You, you got your little dig in there. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I still didn't <laughs> slam the door on the wide open one you gave me, though. <laughs> We'll be good. Well, when, once basketball seasons, I expect you to be ready. Yeah. Chesterton drawing something here, and Shraka with the save as he goes down to his side. Trying to figure out who he wants to get it to for Lake Central now. He'll send that one away, and old Dean lets that one get by him. Pushing this one ahead. Now a header. Nice job of control on that header, getting that ball over to Newton on, on some control there from Lake Central. Far side of the pitch, picked off by Chesterton, trying to keep this one in, but it'll roll out. And head coach Shane Cloutier will help guys up over there. Looks like maybe a sub coming in for Lake Central. be a goal kick there for Chesterton. Sorry, I was trying to find uh, another piece of paper. I, I made this joke on Friday, but I literally carry enough paper to, with me to regrow a tree. I, I did have to make that again, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rohde. Because we were looking for comments from the peanut gallery in the back. <laughs> Chesterton. Still putting on pressure over here, but Lake Central putting on the defensive pressure as well, doing a really good job, blo or job blocking those before they even get to the netminder back there. So 
So these last uh, 16-ish minutes of this half, if you're Sabedro, are you telling just to keep on this pressure? Because, I mean, it's, it's working right now as Chesterton goes down. Didn't look like a trip. It just kind of looked like he tripped on his own. Yeah. They are going to say it's a free kick. It's a free kick. They called a foul. Now they're going to ask for their 10 yards at their distance there since they're so close to the to the now goal. Maybe, maybe my, my, my eyes were deceiving me. Did you see a foul there personally? Um, man, you know I don't like to comment on that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> That's, uh, you put me in a tough spot there. Shot taken by Shraka there, and he blocks. I only comment when Mr. Rohde is on uh, basketball games. That's that's when I'll make my comment. Right. <laughs> you talk about a guy who is nimble on his feet. He is. Old twinkle toes. All right, Chesterton still trying to get something here. They trail by one, putting on the pressure still, and they are just getting swarmed. As soon as one player gets the ball, it is just a number of Lake Central defenders in there try to stop any pressure and I think that probably helps I would think that that's got to help the the netminder Shraka out there knowing that his guys are, are cutting down the lanes and they're not giving him opportunities to even get to get to him yeah, Lake Central is doing a really nice job of uh, getting into the into the passing lanes and you know keeping them from getting a good look at the goal definitely don't want him to get too comfortable back there though I want him on his toes for sure so that way he is ready for anything that does come his way Chesterton has done a nice job of picking up the pressure here as we get into the second uh, part of the first half. Feeding this ahead, Oros. He had a goal last week. Odell, the two-time state champion for four years starter on this Chesterton team. Feeding into the middle. Putch sending it ahead, Chesterton. Trying to intercept. There we go, some players down, and it'll be Chesterton ball. They call a foul against Lake Central there to the uh, dismay of the LC faithful. Really think they're going to be questioning that call? No. If anything goes, anytime a call goes against your team, you're always like, what? No. Yeah, you know. No way. Trying to clear this one here. Guerrero far side. Lake Central's got to do a better, better job of picking up that pressure and keeping this ball on their half of the field. You can't give Cheston too many opportunities. Well, this is exactly how the game started. We saw a lot of movement happening over on this side of the field, and then all of a sudden Lake Central picked up their intensity. Trying to kick this one ahead off to the right. Trying to stay inside the box there. Lake Central has got a chance to clear it, though. Far side, this will stay inbounds here. Kept inbounds by Marmalejo. Feeding ahead, Schraka taking the bounce. Kind of a dangerous one because that ball could, you know, carry him any, any way. But but nice, he got right in front of it. Nice job by Lake Central's defense to, to keep that ball from getting too close to the net there and when Cheston was putting a little pressure on this near sideline. Nodine kept it on his foot there. Here's Putch. I'm sorry, that is Newton, excuse me. Agnans feeding it away. Cheston trying to keep it in in play here. It is going to be the Lake Central ball though. Uh, it's going to be on the throw in the ball. Across the touch line on the far side. Make sure you stay with us after the game as we'll name the Crow Company's Lantern Man superhero of the game. Crow Company's proud to recognize the superheroes on the soccer pitch. And I'm sorry to say, Larry, but you are not eligible to win that award tonight. Uh, there's there's uh, no surprise there. <laughs> I wasn't winning them when I was uh, <laughs> I wasn't very athletic. You've I always been a superhero in my <laughs> book, sir. <laughs> Somebody lied to you. Feeding ahead here. Lake Central nice off pick. the right fake there. This one oh, oh. just off the goal post. Lake Central has had three golden opportunities. One has been cashed in. They've gotten a crossbar and a goal, uh, goal post. 
That was a nice feed. Feeding ahead, Odell for Chesterton. Odell with a strike and stopped by Schraka. Man, nice job by Lake Central to, you know, cross that over to the left boot and get a nice shot just off the uh, goal post there. And then great job by Chesterton coming right back down and getting a shot on goal of their own. Yeah, you got to believe. So just as we talked about, Chesterton was putting on the pressure over on the right side of the field as Egnan's going to try to keep this one ahead here left side. Crossing up, trying to feed it through. Has to go through some defenders. It splits, but it's picked up by Chesterton. Lake Central trying to keep there in their corner, and it is going to be Lake Central ball. 11 minutes left to go in the opening half, and it has, been, it has not been without entertainment. Sorry. And it doesn't appear that uh, the Chester and captains are real happy with that call. So it is a corner kick from the near corner for Lake Central. Fed it through and taken out. This looks like Putch over there trying to feed this one through, and it goes over the goal post. He did a nice job of bringing that ball down and controlling it to try and you know put that shot on goal there and just sailed a little high on him. 1-0, that first goal scored by Motter in the eighth minute of the game. Lake Central trying again here, far side. This one blocked and will go out. It'll be a corner kick for Lake Central. And we're about a third of the way, oh no, a fourth of the way through. This opening half. You can kind of see it on your screen there. Like we said, a lot going on here at Lake Central this evening as we get ready for this corner kick here. Fed through. Header taken by Chesterton to get it out. Not cleared. Agnance trying to hold through or hold the pressure. Lake Central trying to keep here on this end. Talk about a team that has had a lot of golden opportunities. They've hit a crossbar and a goal post along with their other chances of trying to score, but those are two that really stick out. Not to mention the one that hit the goalpost and did ricochet into the net. That's how we got to a 1-0 score here with Chesterton still making a lot of opportunities to try to score as well. Chesterton trying to clear. It was blocked. Egnan's going to try to pick this one up if he can. Man, and that wind just held that ball in the air. Feeding into the middle. Taken out by Guerrero. Lake Central trying to keep. Can they get a control? This one on the tackle sl or on the slide. Kept it. It's going to go out and it's going to be Chesterton ball on the far side. Throw in for Chesterton. Picked up by Nestrick. Oh, and uh, Egnance fell on the other end of the field over there. That guy's falling all over the place, tripping over themselves. I can imagine there's some dew starting to get on that grass, and it's making it a little slick right now. It is not warm. Here's a golden opportunity for Mauter again. Goalkeeper came out, and Bodecker came out, and he is hopping mad. And we have the Chesterton fans that are also cheering wildly for some kind of call. What 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 are, the, what are they looking for here? Uh, I, I think they're looking for a card on that for, uh, you know, Lake Central kick coming in hard and taking a defender out. But I, I really think it was just him going to play or, or make an attempt to play the ball, and there just happened to be a collision. I, I think that's a good no call by the official there. Yeah, you were a champion of the play on mentality. I was, yes. But you still are. Yeah, correct. Even, even uh, when I referee football and basketball. So that one goes into the stands. A little souvenir football there. So we have two footballs on the field now. Let's try to figure out which one they actually want to use here in this case. We'll have another throw in here. Agnance near side gives to Enyart. Enyart, a player that playing well defensively, can score as well for Lake Central. Agnans near side trying to feed it an old Dean. This one get, gets kicked out, though. Kept nicely by 
Nestrick, though. Ooh. You like to see Lake Central space this out a little bit, get get those defenders. Feeding ahead to Podge. He loses it. Thought he was going to get a pass into Motter. Didn't get it. This one headed back in. Noldeen. A couple years ago when Lake Central was competing in the 3A state championship as he tries to center that one there. Noldeen had the only goal scored in that state championship appearance a couple of years ago. Speaking of cha state championships, Chesterton, the defending, 3A state champions from a season ago. Certainly in good position to potentially make their way back there. Lake Central was two years ago, right? They yep. won the state championship? Yeah. That is correct. That was the final year under Jeremy Rainwater as well. Do I understand he's back on the coaching staff? He is. He is the JV head coach now. Five forty five to play. Chesterton. Certainly with some time here to try to tie this one up in this first half. We got guys again sliding all over the place. As you mentioned, yeah, it is a chilly evening, currently fifty nine degrees with a chance of showers. Certainly in the vicinity at some point this evening. Not sure when exactly that's going to happen. Always makes the game of soccer a little bit, a little bit uh, more fun when the rain comes and the turf gets a little wet. I'm happy to be here in the broadcast booth with you, as opposed to being out in the rain. And it's a little bit warmer. Well, just because you're happy to be here with me, not so <laughs> sure. I feel the same. <laughs> you're saying you didn't miss me at all? <laughs> like Central with another drive, under five minutes to go here. Got guys going down. This will be a corner for. No, but it'll be Chesterton's ball here. Free kick. On to that far side. I say I thought they I thought the the far official did call for Lake Central ball, didn't he? Yeah, he did. So it should be Lake Central ball. But Chesterton tried to continue to play it as if it was theirs. Unless they're just calling to say that there was an injury. There was a Lake Central player down, but it does look like the Center official is conversing with the assistant referee to determine if we're going to have a goal kick here or a corner kick. So it looks like it's going to stay with Chesterton here. 4.35 left to play in this opening half here between Lake Central and Chesterton. Now, I will say uh, it wouldn't be the first time if, you know, I don't think there is rain imminent in the future. I think later this evening it is supposed to come, but let's just say hypothetically. Wouldn't be the first time this season that Lake Central has had to delay a game because of rain. They had to delay a game because uh, against uh, Crown Point. There was a little bit of a hold there on, on Noel Dean. No call. Agnans trying to feed into the middle. Here's Putch trying to feed it into the goal, and it's going to be left wide of the net. But there was definitely a hold and a grab of the jersey there against Noldeen. I think I think maybe he was going to try and let the advantage play out, but when it didn't materialize, we should have definitely brought that back. Lake Central trying to keep in their own end. Here as Charlie Newton tries to keep that one. Trey Adams kicks this one away. Motter. At the numbers disadvantage, but trying to get his guys up for some help. Doing some feet work there. This one kicked and four defenders right in front of him. Noel Dean off to the left now, trying to get something going here for Lake Central again. 3.21 to play. Feed is to Nestrick. He feeds nice towards strike. the goal, and it's going to hit the goal post again. Nestrick just misses again. That is three opportunities for Lake Central. We'll have a region sports replay in just a moment. Man. That was a great. That would have been a great shot to put it in that upper 90 there. Yeah, that upper right corner. Here's the replay now. Nestrick just missing, kind of hits the crossbar, and dare I say it may have been a double doink. Too early? Yeah, no. 2.45 left to play in the opening half. <laughs> Uh, 
This ball is very much in the area. It is still very windy. I give credit uh, to uh, Zach Miller up top on top of the press box. He is uh, working the camera tonight, bracing the elements. Chesterton with the first chance here in quite a while. This one goes to Schraka after a little bit of a deflection. Looked like that was off the boot, the boot of Kruger there. I think one thing that can definitely play the Chesterton's advantage in the second half is they'll have the wind with them um, in the second half, very similar to what Lake Central's got now. And I think that's why Lake Central has a few of those goals that have kind of rattled in and out. Open ball there with 145 to go in this opening half. Saved nicely by Kruger, or Kruper, excuse me, Kruper. Nestrick trying to feed ahead to Noldine. It gets intercepted, though, by Odell. Odell up to Shoemate. Chesterton with an opportunity here, trying to feed this one back out to set up their play that they want with 119 to go in the opening half. Getting swarmed there, kept it nicely as Chesterton. Now this time, Lake Central keeps, but they are going to call a foul, so it is going to stay with Chesterton here with 62 seconds remaining. And the ball kind of rolled right up his arm. That's an opportunity for Chesterton. But again, you're kicking into a, a pretty strong wind, so that's going to take some something off that soccer ball there. Yeah, that wind is whipping for sure. I can see the flag moving. Kick up above the goal net. Still a pretty good strike for kicking into a strong wind. I don't even think Shraka had to touch that one. It was going over anyway. I think he just tried to do what he could to make sure that it went over just enough. So we are down to the final. 20 seconds here of this opening half, and it has certainly been entertaining so far, as we expected here between Chesterton and and Lake Central. One more try here for Kruper, but stolen by Lake Central. It'll be a throw in, five seconds remain. And at the half, this one gets sailed in. Shiraka will send that one away, and at the half, Lake Central is up one nil. Plenty to break down. In just a few moments, we'll step aside. You are watching Game Night on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Did you know? Wow, they'll prepare fresh fish while you wait. Did you know? They make over 40,000 donuts from scratch every week? Did you know? They offer 23 different deli platters for your party? Did you know? They have freshly chopped fajita mix ready to cook. Did you know? They have the best fried chicken in the area? Did you know? They offer our signature curbside service 14 hours a day. Strike and Van Till. Now you know. Hi, I'm Crowell Company's Lantern Man. I'll cover your motorcycle. I'll be with you on the water. I'll be with you on the snow. I'll cover your insurance needs wherever you go. I'll be at Crowell Agency from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. As Crowell Company's Lantern Man, I'm your insurance superhero. Crowell Companies, the insurance professionals in Highland, Merrillville, and Michigan City. Tech Credit Union is the better option for personal and business banking. Buy a car, remodel your home, pay for an education, expand your business. Tech Credit Union can help you do these things and more. You'll enjoy the latest banking services, but without the cost of the big bank relationship. With branches throughout the region, fee-free ATMs nationwide, and online services, they're convenient too. Learn more at techcu.org. Contact any branch or call 800-276-TECH. Tech Credit Union is an equal opportunity lender and federally insured by the NCU. Way. With electrical services from Economy Electric Heating and Cooling, you can radiate the perfect amount of light and energy into your home. From rewiring and code upgrades to ceiling fans, lighting, security, and more, Economy Electric Heating and Cooling's trained electricians will make sure you can enjoy your home on full power all the time. For a free estimate on electrical work, call Economy Electric Heating and Cooling at 219-923-4441 and you can visit them on the web at 4ajobdoneright.com. That's the number 4, ajobdoneright.com. From schools to stadiums, 
hospitals, and bridges. Everywhere you look, Union Carpenters are building Indiana. With jobs and skilled trades in high demand, there's never been a better time to start building your future. As an apprentice, you'll earn a debt-free college degree, earn while you learn, and receive great benefits like health care and retirement. So what are you waiting for? Visit Carpenters.com to learn more. Visit Carpenters.com and start building your future today. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While well, I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Welcome back to Game Night here on the Region Sports Network. Michael Brander here along with Larry Babcock as we are here for boys soccer. And Larry, we have got ourselves a good one on tap. We knew it was going to be a good match when we started tonight. It is 1-0 Lake Central at the half, and it has been chock full of really, really good moments for both teams. A lot of scoring chances, but we stand here at 1-0. Yeah, it's, it's kind of been, a, it was a first half of runs. You know, at, at certain points, Lake Central will go on runs, and they'd keep the ball on their half and put some pressure on Cheston's defense, and then it would kind of flip the other direction. Um, you know, you, as we saw that half develop, the, the first 40 minutes, you saw the conditions of the field start to, you know, maybe it's getting a little bit, a little more wet out there. You, you got the strong wind coming. Um, so I think that's going to make for an interesting second half of play here. Yeah, you mentioned that before we went to the break about how Lake Central is going to have to kick into the wind now as opposed to going or kick against the wind as opposed to getting getting it uh, with the wind. So it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. The one goal scored is off of a header from Ryan Motter, who is also one of the stars in the track and field team as well. It was the anchor in the 4x4 four four as well. Thank you, Jeff Rohde, for that uh, little nugget there of information. Always love throwing the little pieces on our players. But, uh, yeah, absolutely, this is going to be interesting to see because now Chesterton's going to be going with the wind to see what kind of power they have. And certainly out of the young sophomore goalkeeper Jacob Schwaka he's kind of had a, I wouldn't say an easy night but he's had a uh, less laboring evening than Ethan Bodecker because I mean Bodecker has been lucky a couple of times because the ball has hit the goal post it has hit the crossbar a couple of times for Lake Central so one of those times you feel like it's going to capitalize even more but Chesterton also has really really put on the pressure on this end of the field and it'll be the other end of the field next half. Yeah but I still think Lake Central had has the advantage there because they've put more pressure on and they've been uh, playing with a little bit more aggression and a little bit more um, tenacity than Chesterton has, and they're and they're keeping the ball on that half, and they're putting that pressure on that back line of Chesterton to make some plays, and the Chesterton back line is getting frustrated. You saw them a couple times argue some calls with the officials. They're kind of out of their element, and like you touched on early in the game, we don't feel like Chesterton's had to play from behind very often this year, so it's a different feel for them. Yeah, I think it'll be that. That's something I wanted to keep in mind as well. Is these guys how they're going to respond to being down? Because yeah, I don't think they've they've ever played down this season. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me because I don't know how that that tie game against uh, against Penn went. I don't know if they were down one nil in that one and then came back to to tie it, which is kind of where we're at right now. Chesterton certainly always a, a scoring opportunity. We were told that Perkins is a guy uh, who was in the starting lineup for Chesterton, but we have not really seen much of him tonight. Well, and he comes in with, you know, 15 goals on the year, you know. Um, you know, Odell seems to be their their key player as far as he comes in with nine goals and 11 assists, and he leads them in assists. So, obviously, when Odell gets the ball, he's looking to feed it somewhere, and th him and Perkins just haven't been able to connect yet. So we'll see how this, uh, this one plays out. We will uh, step aside for just a moment. You are watching Game Night on the Region Sports Network. The only game in town. If you work with industrial, pneumatics, or hydraulics, and you're in need of maintenance or repair, you need the right connection. For over 20 years, Hose Connections in Hammond has been the premier leader in the hydraulics industry. Hose Connections is a one-stop shop for sales and service of pneumatics and hydraulics. Hose Connections continues to grow their network of industry contacts, which allows them to meet even your toughest expectations. To learn more, visit HoseConnectionsInc.com. Hose Connections in Hammond. Proven under pressure.
At Toyota of Merrillville, we take pride in being a one-stop shop for anything Toyota related. The best part of the Toyota Merrillville experience is that we make it easy to do business with us. We have a committed team of professionals that's here to help you do just that. When you come in for service, we will welcome you and have plenty of staff on hand to handle your needs. And if you're looking for a new or pre-owned vehicle, Toyota Merrillville sales team is the best in the business to help you with your buying decision. We practice what we preach. When we say we make it easy, that's exactly what we do. The team of sports medicine experts at Orthopedic Specialists of Northwest Indiana is committed to getting athletes back in the game with a focus on not only helping patients recover from injuries, but helping improve athletic performance to prevent injuries. Orthopedic Specialists provides the most advanced, comprehensive care to their patients. To learn more about all Orthopedic Specialists can do to help rehab and prevent athletic injuries, visit them on the web at osni.org or call them at 219-923-3300. Orthopedic Specialists of Northwest Indiana, providing world-class care to Northwest Indiana for over 20 years. Java Wave at your local Family Express is the perfect way to get your day started or keep you moving at any time. With 12 freshly ground bean-to-cup flavors to choose from, Java Wave at Family Express has just what you're looking for, whether it's hot or iced coffee. To see all of the delicious flavor options and to find a Family Express near you, log on to FamilyExpress.com slash Java Wave. Welcome back to St. John, Indiana. Game night in the region on the Region Sports Network. We got boys soccer here. Uh, Good Doolin Athletic Conference showdown. The two leading teams in this conference, both teams coming in 5-0. and oh, But uh, the 1-0 lead is where it matters most right now. Michael Brenner, Larry Bob, uh, Babcock alongside. And, Larry, what are you looking to see here in the second half from both teams? Let's start with Chesterton. They're the ones down on the scoreboard. What do they need to do to get this uh, a tie game and then take the lead? Yeah, so they, they have got to play a little bit harder, push on, on offense more. They do have the win with them in the second half, so I think that's going to be a big key for them. They might be able to take some strikes from a little further out, uh, you know, from further out in the field, playing with the wind, um, and put some pressure. They they have to put pressure on on uh, Shiraka in the uh, second half. I do have a question though. Do you think as the if they if it continues to go longer and longer into the match and they don't get a score to tie this game, do you think they try to pressure themselves even more and then potentially lead them open to making mistakes? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, obviously that uh, that's going to make a big deal. Um, and as you see it go longer, and if Cheston doesn't score or it ends up tied and it goes longer and longer and the closer we get to zeros and overtime, you're going to see the game get a lot more physical than what we've already seen now. I can only imagine if these two teams end up tied at the end of this one. All right, what do you want to see out of Lake Central real quick? Well, Lake Central's got, got to keep the pressure on Chesterton. they got to keep the ball down now that they're kicking into the wind. They can't get the ball in the air because the wind's going to knock it down. So they got to have low strikes, they got to find feet, and they got to do uh, continue to put pressure on on the, the goalie, uh, Bod, uh, Bodecker, and keep taking the shots on goal. Yeah, they have been really good with the shots on goal, and it really hasn't been Bodecker that has stopped them. It's been they've just been uh, hitting the goal posts and the crossbars, and uh, Bodecker has been you know he's been good, but he hasn't really been a factor in the in the stoppage, if you will, against Lake Central here tonight. Yeah, I mean, think about where this match would be if even two of those goals fell in that hit the crossbar or uh, the. Uh, Goal, uh, the goal post. Well, we would say that there's been the crossbar has been hit three times tonight. The, the goal post has been hit once, and only one has gone in. So this easily could be a four nothing ball game right now for Lake Central, which just probably demoralize Chesterton. But knowing that they can score really at will, almost it, it kind of seems like. But this has been a real tough Lake Central defense. So this is going to be a fun second half. I can't wait to check this one out. Yeah, it's absolutely going to be a fun forty, and um, you know. If you have a winner at the uh, at the end of 40, or, or one team has one one more goal than the other, ball game. Otherwise, we're going to see a couple seven minutes and potential uh, PKs. All right, Nestrick will kick this one away. So, like Central kicking it this direction, they come left to right on the pitch, trying to feed it into the middle of the punch, but not able to clear that one in. So Chesterton now trying to get an advantage going here. They would like to see something started here early in this second half to get that momentum stopped for Lake Central because I feel like the big Mo is on Lake Central's side just a little bit. 
Yeah, I, you know, but again, it could be a tale of two halves. She sat for 10 minutes. Momentum was on Lake Central side, you know, sitting, cooling down. It's a little bit cooler night than what we've been playing in. So you hope that that halftime doesn't affect Lake Central too bad. Here comes Mauder, who had that one stolen away. Uh, I'd have to, my memory, if my memory serves, uh, Nathan might remember a little bit better, is Guerrero fighting there with well, that's gonna be a a Lake there. Central, and that's going to be a McCabe there. And we have got... The clock is going to stop. That was Miljevic actually on that near side. And the foul is going to be actually taken against Lake Central. And that's, uh, that's number 19, Jackson McCabe, who gets that, that call. And you see Noah Enyard. I'm sorry. Um, excuse me, Quentin Enyard. I, wasn't, I, I felt like the Chesterton defender... Uh, grabbed the Lake Central kid and he pulled did, him down. Yeah, he, well, and he pulled his shirt as well. We can see that it was literally right in front of us here at midfield. So, and interesting that it was called against Lake Central when it looked like more of the the hazard was more. Yeah, I mean the foul. I'm was, sorry, was the foul actually called against Chesterton? The foul was okay. called against Chesterton, which again, I'm not real sure why the caution went to the LC kid because I really felt like the Chesterton kid grabbed his shoe and kept him from being able to get that ball. And taking it upfield. Now you're the you've done the officiating. Will you know running your mouth get you that type of card? Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, anytime you uh, you talk, it's going to get you uh, the card. Um, however, I, I'm not real sure that that's why that card was given. Well, it could have been potentially uh, clapping of hands into the face as well. Like since we're going to keep this one here near side. And I'm going with the, the clapping of hands because I had about three people clapping their hands in my face while we were talking about that. <laughs> Make that four now. This one comes up. Ortega for Lake Central. On this Careful right side here, trying to get a, dodge the traffic there, but kicked out of bounds. Trying to see 100% numbers here. They're calling a foul and giving the ball to Chesterton, so they call the foul in the box there against Lake Central. Looks like that was against Mauder there. So Chesterton, this is Guerrero with it near side. Trying to feed through the middle. This one picked up by Ortega. Trying to weave his way through traffic. It was picked off, though. Feeding off to the right. This is Noldeen. Noldeen cutting into the middle. Gets tripped up. Passes out to Newton. Newton going back to his right. Feedback to Noldeen. Noldeen definitely not a, a shy scorer. He has been known to score for this Lake Central team as well. That was fed back out to Miljevic. Nice job finding feet by Lake Central here. Guerrero trying to pick this one up for Chesterton. That far or that near corner over there on the far side from where we are. Nestrick trying to feed it into the middle there with the header. That one rolls out and it is going to be a Lake Central throw in, so it'll be done by Ortega. Well, Ortega trying to feed that in. They were trying to feed it down to Motter inside. Motter, one of the seniors on this Lake Central team. Feeding it ahead, Torres. Now into the middle, trying to feed ahead. This one picked off by Nestrick, though. Nobody there. That's something that Chesterton definitely needs to make sure that they're paying attention to. They can't pass the guys that are not there. And this one picked up. Your sign, that's Marmalejo. Blocked by Lake Central again. Here comes Noldeen. He's got numbers. Feeding up to Motter on that left side. Motter off the leg of Chesterton. It might have been Donella out there. I believe it was Donella. Trying to block that one. The defenseman. Like Central now off of Miljevic. Putch trying to pick this one. It's going to stay in the center there. Feeding it ahead to Marmalejo. That might actually be, excuse me, 20, nope, it is 24. We'll say they did not make it easy with the very light letter, uh, numbering on these white jerseys. 
I do see Perkins here on this near side for Chesterton. Definitely a guy that we want to start saying a name of a little bit more. This is to Guerrero. Fed into the miss, uh, middle there. Putch. Back to Guerrero. Now Chesterton on this near side right in front of us. Picking this one up. Odell. We got a couple of players going down. It'll be Chesterton ball. Miljevic involved in that one as well. He'll kick that one back up. Here's Grimes. Now the free kick going to be taken by Donella, it looks like. Under 35 minutes to go here in this second half. Certainly a lot of pressure, a lot of physicality between these two. As you mentioned, we would likely see this one feeding and now kick to the left of the net. And it'll be a free kick for Lake Central. Yeah, definitely uh, the intensity's picked up here at the and within the first six minutes or five and a half minutes of this uh, second half. And again, you're, you're starting to see Cheston feel the pressure of, of being down. Um, I'm just not used to them being down. I, obviously, 11-0-1, how often are you down in, in with a record like that? I was going to say, I don't know how that tie game between them and Penn went. If Technically, Penn scored first. But yeah, this is uh, probably unfamiliar territory for... The Trojans this season. It's Bo Decker. Going to kick this one off to the right. Donella. Marmalejo feeding ahead. Trying to center it. We have another player down for Chesterton. And we will stop the clock. Looks like another caution's coming. You see Quinton Enyard out there. He's chatting with the official as what a senior would do. Now, if you are, if, if the think, players are coming to you, just you know, to having a conversation as a senior leader, what what exactly are they saying to I, the official? That's uh, that's who the yellow card was on. Was Quinton? Oh, Enyard. was Enyard. Okay, yeah. That would that would um, ex explain as to what he's you know talking to the official. Yeah, the, the yellow card was on Enyard. So free kick here. Streaking towards the goal. The header by Lake Central, though, will keep it out of territory. Noldeen trying to pick this one up and feed it ahead down the middle. Motter is off to his right. Noldeen going to his left. He's got a cross. Motter with a chance. Bodecker with the save. What a save by Bodecker. Another golden opportunity for Lake Central. But this time, Bodecker is in on the save for Chesterton. And Lake Central is doing a nice job keeping pressure on that defensive line. They did a nice job. Clearing that ball and bringing it up. Nestrick feeding to Noel Dean again as he tried to have it on that cross there. Here's to Putch. Putch has got a streaking Ortega off to the right. And he's going to slow it down a little bit. Trying to work around. That actually might be Evetic there on that near side. Excuse me. And now I have lost uh, the play off to the right. We have a Region Sports replay to show you right here. Noldeen with that chance off to the left. Motter trying to get it in. But Bodecker, they're on the save. Noldeen in that corner. Noldeen now with the left foot trying to feed it through, but it gets picked off by Chesterton. They're going to feed it ahead. Far side of the field. Trying to cross in front. There are 32 minutes to go in this matchup between a couple of Doolin schools that know about uh, appearing in state championships. There's a cross there. Nice block there by Miljevic. And it goes be a corner away kick. from the net. Be a corner kick for Cheston. And in the last two years, the 3A boys state champions are sitting right here on this field. Well, really the three, uh, 2018 was uh, Chesterton. Yep. They're 18 and 20. Oh, what a save by Schrock on the right foot. What a save by Lakeson. Oh, my goodness. The sophomore. And now we will have a cramp, uh, it looks like, for Chesterton. And the, uh, the clock will stop here. And it looks like all of Lake Central even going out there. 
to help this Justin player as well. So we'll see some more uh, athletic trainers head out there. We'll take this opportunity to tell you the conclusion of tonight's game. We'll have the Crow Company's Lantern Man Superhero of the game. They have offices open 9 to 7 Monday through Friday and Saturday still 2 in Highland, Maryville, and Michigan City. Sound like you've read that a time or two. No, just once or twice. Oh, we have another Region Sports replay to show you here. Still have the player down for Chesterton, and I cannot see the number, and they are clearly in a lot of pain. He, he had a couple of guys working on him, and even just the, the trying to stretch it, it doesn't seem to be helping at all. As Perkins is out there, and Chesterton number 13, Gage Torres, and I can't tell who the player that's down is. And it looks like, as I look at the feed here, it looks like they're stretching both uh, legs, so he must be cramping in both legs. So I got I got to ask, not that they're obviously you know he's in clear pain, but uh, this has got to favor Chesterton a little bit, right? This little delay here, because then it kind of gets uh, you know the mon momentum back to back to not away from like Central, but gives him a chance to regroup and re you know give the chance to, the coach to talk to them a little bit, say hey this is what we're seeing already, how do we fix this? Yeah, it it definitely um, slows it down a little bit, gives Lake Central an opportunity to cool off you know again a cold night like this just does play in the advantage of body temperatures coming back down um so but again i think lake central's played strong enough that they'll get picked right back up where they were let's go ahead and take a look at that goal again that was scored in the first half in the eighth minute of the game on this region sports replay this off the header of modder as it hit the the crossbar and then wasn't sure if it went in at first and then the officials did, did indicate, yes, it did go in, so that is how we are standing here at 1-0 as we finally have our player up and moving. Still can't see the number at the moment. I'm not sure if you can see it on our feed. Uh, I and believe he, that that's uh, Mar uh, Marmaleo. Marmaleo, number 24. And he is really favoring that right leg, it looks like. He's not hardly putting any pressure on the right leg. Yeah, that's who that is. It's uh, Matthew Marmalejo. So certainly a player that is uh, very important in terms of the, the middle for Chesterton. He's one of their top defenders. So a 31-18 to go. We'll get play started here in just a moment. Scratch that. He has a captain ban on, and uh, so I think it's Ryan Odell. Okay, so it might be 14. Yeah. Yep, Marmalejo in the backfield for Chesterton out there. So, yes, it is Ryan Odell for Chesterton. This feed for, like, or for Chesterton off to the left, and it's going to get kicked wide of the net. Chesterton right out of this break here with a golden opportunity, or a free opportunity, I should say, as they streak off to the side. And that was Perkins, who, you know, one of the top goal scorers for this Chesterton team, but definitely we haven't called his name a whole lot tonight. Jacob Perkins, the senior. Looking to take this one. Egnans was gunning for that one, but Guerrero popped out of nowhere and took that one out. Officially 10 minutes in here. Nodine trying to save that one. Marmalejo going to save that one. Perkins gives back. Egnans back to Marmalejo now for Chesterton. They feed it into the middle, but like Central going to intercept. Chesterton gets it back, though. Under 30 minutes to play. 
feeding ahead. A streaking Chesterton, but defense is there for Lake Central. And a stop by Shraka. That was a great save there. Ball is still active here with 29.40 to go. What a save by the netminder to stay with that one. We said on this end, on the other end of the field, not that he wasn't having an easy night, but certainly had a lot of his shots uh, going to the to wide of the net or guys getting in front to help him. And it's not been the case here this time. This one sails over the net again for Chesterton. We have another region sports replay to look at here. The save by Shraka. Man, that is... Just a thing of beauty here. So it'll be a free kick for Lake Central. This will be Trey Adams kick this one away. Trying to save this one in bounds, and they're going to say it's going to be a Lake Central ball there on the throw in. Chance here for Lake Central to make Bodecker a little uncomfortable. If they can get it a little bit closer to the net here. Chester did not, not seem like they're pressing a whole lot just yet, but got to figure that's going to come here in the next little less than 15 minutes before they start uh, feeling a little bit antsy here. There's a lot of collision that was do uh, dodged nicely by Ignance there. I thought that could have gotten real ugly there on this near side. And Chester has pretty much controlled for the most part this second half. Lake Central's had a, a few opportunities to score, but Chester's done a nice job of keeping the ball on, on their half of the field. When you talked about uh, the game of runs, this has still been a, a game of runs. A really lot, a lot of opportunities for Chesterton, a lot of opportunities for Lake Central, and then back and forth, Guerrero really fighting hard there. Here's to Perkins near side. Perkins trying to fight the defense there. He meets up Miljevic. Perkins feeds into the middle. Marmalejo from our far side of the field. Kicking ahead. And it'll be a throw in for Lake Central here. 27-25 to go. One picked ahead, Mauder trying to chase that one down. It'll be picked up by Bo Decker. He'll clear it, or try to clear it. And now we have time called as there is another Chesterton player down on the far side of the field. And again, another cramp. So, and it looks like we might have a cramp for Lake Central as well on the near side. That one might be Agnance here, so we'll see. That one's just getting stretched out by his own player. This one for Chesterton on the far side of the field, getting picked up by their trainer. So typically you see this a lot when uh, when it's really hot out, but it can even happen, yes, even in those cold evenings. Well, I think on cooler evenings, they don't drink as much water it, yeah. because they're not feeling it as much you know, as they do in the heat, and you still cramp up when it's cold out. I knew what I was saying. I was I was letting my broadcast partner sound intelligent. First time. <laughs> oh, that's a tough. I'm really hoping the do. microphones pick that one up. Yeah. So 26:48 to go. The clock has started. So Chesterton going to have the ball here. But Lake Central was, uh, it's a little bit of an interesting call because Lake Central was driving. But uh, Perkins trying to keep this one in. Chesterton not going to complain about the call. Lake Central, Nestrick keeps. And Nestrick knocked down. I'm sorry, Putch knocked down. Guerrero. We just got fans here all over the place not happy with any of the, <laughs> any of the calls tonight. Ball across the touch line here on the near side. Be a little Lake Central throw in. So Egnan's trying to feed to Motter nice far side. And that's going to go out. So it should be off of a, be a, corner, be a, kick. a corner kick for Lake Central. 
believe this is how Lake Central scored the first time was off a corner kick. I'm trying to see if I can see out the door over there, but I can't. Well, we have it on the video feed. Yeah, might as well. I'm not used to looking at a monitor. So we've heard. Corner kick feeds ahead, trying to save that one for Lake Central. Nodine in there trying to get it. Oh, oh and what a save by Bodecker off the boot. That's a beautiful strike. Nathan working feverishly to get this region sports replay up to you. What a save on the quick strike from Lake Central. Now Chesterton moving ahead. Here's Perkins near side. Feeds it to... That's Wadowski. Wadowski across the field, far side. Trying to feed it in to the middle. Lake Central's going to run with a few numbers here. Noldeen feeding ahead. Nice ball. Far side. Nice sliding tackle there. That's a great ball on that feed and there. And here we are ready for the Region Sports replay. Man, that oh, is quite a save by Bodecker, which is exactly what Nathan and I saw last week against Crown Point. A lot of just saves like that. Well, especially with that much traffic in the box, you know, that was an excellent opportunity. This one saved away here as Lake Central trying to keep it in this zone. Perkins trying to take it now. Meeting up against Nestrick. Feeding ahead, finds Kruper. Far side of the field here, and a big save by Schraka over there. Under 25 minutes to play. We got 23 45 left to go in this one. 1 0 Lake Central. Guerrero Ooh. and Egnance collide there, but no harm, no foul. And we do have time going to be called as we have another Chesterton player down on the near side of the field. And this is Guerrero that is down, and he is grabbing the left side. It appears might be his hip. Yeah, I think it was on this collision right here at midfield. And the great Chris Hall will head out there to check on him. You you have to start to wonder. The last two or three Cheston players that have gone down is when Lake Central has been putting a ton of pressure on Chesterton and maybe gaining some momentum and all of a sudden the player's down. I was going to let you say it. That's all right. I'll say it. I've, I've made enough enemies in my life. What's a few more? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. But with friends like you guys, why do I need enemies? <laughs> <laughs> we are so happy to have you back in the broadcast booth with us, but Larry. I can feel the love tonight. <laughs> this is where Brody behind us is supposed to start singing, Can You Feel <laughs> the Love Tonight? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, what con it, it continues to amaze me that I haven't been kicked off any broadcast yet for my horrendous jokes. Uh, you know, I wasn't really um, looking forward to working with you and Nathan tonight. I was kind of, you know. <laughs> and then I saw Rody walk in, and my night got a little bit better. I realized we're going to be all right. Wait a so. minute. When has Rody <laughs> ever walked into a room and someone's <laughs> night got better? <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> Still checking on Guerrero here. Let's go ahead and take a quick timeout. You're watching Game Night on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Did you know? They decorate over 210,000 cakes a year. Did you know? Their butcher will cut your meat your way. Did you know? They have trained floral designers in store. Did you know? They will make your wedding cake. Did you know? They have a variety of deli bakeable entrees. Did you know? Their online app has coupons and so much more. Who does that? Strack and Van Till. Now you know. Welcome back to Game Night here on the Region Sports Network. Guerrero is literally being carried off 
by the athletic trainer here at Lake Central, Chris Hall and uh, Egnance. That is Sam Egnance who is helping carry off the Chesterton player, which I don't know personally. I mean, you you made the the connection earlier, but why would not one of his teammates help him off the pitch? But I'm not well, out there, so I don't know. Well, you know. I mean, that's you know what the IHSAA promotes sportsmanship. That is a great display of sportsmanship that the IHSAA would love. So we'll make sure that this feed gets to them, so that way we can show sportsmanship like no other. 23-16 is what's on the clock. We're waiting for a play to resume here. And there we go. Noel Dean quickly coming on the attack. Left side. Feeds to the right. There's Nestrick. He holds and waits. Nice play. Feeding back to Noel Dean. Makes a man break his ankles. The shot, and it's blocked by Bodecker. Nice play all around on the strike and the save. Noldine back on the attack here, trying to get that one. He gets swarmed. Chesterton feeding back up to Marmalejo. Near side here. Kogel in for Chesterton right now. Chesterton trying to build up some kind of momentum here. This one kicked off the foot. Now Chesterton fighting, but Lake Central battling as well in their own offensive zone. Feed to Motter. Nestrick, or I'm sorry, that's uh, Egnans with the right foot. Blocked by Bodecker. That's another great strike by Lake Central. Trying to steal this one is Miljevic. He does steal it. Here's to 17. That's Newton. Putch feeding to Miljevic here near side. Looking to find a lane to pass to. He'll pass it back out. Now clears it off to the left. A lot of contact being made over there. A lot of hands jumbling there. Trying to save that one. Here comes a nice pickup for Newton, but it gets stolen away by Chesterton. And Now Adam's going to clear this one up. Nestrick trying to pick that one up. And that wind is still blowing. That ball just died when it got in the air. That's something that's working in Lake Central's favor still, though. Somehow still uh, finding the wind to be in their favor. Egnance feeding, but it was blocked. Now trying to center it again oh. and a knockdown here. We figure that's going to be some kind of a whistle against nope. Dean, but they're going to play on. <laughs> Pulling the old Larry Babcock move there. Yep. To play yeah, on. Let's go kind of look like that on a baseline sometimes too with crashes in the paint. Let's go get up. Wadowski in there trying to feed and now we'll have another player down. It'll be Chesterton ball here with 20-30 left to go in this one. Nathan, were we queuing up a, a replay by chance of that last all right, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that one as we have a little break in the action here. Take a look at the Region Sports replay. We'll cue that one up here in just a moment. Here it is. It was the broken ankles, the shot, and then the nice block by Bodecker. All right, we are officially halfway through this second half, so we are 20 minutes from a finale here at Lake Central, which is what has been a great game. And the block up by the wall for Lake Central. Oh, he just called a handball in the box. The Chester's going to get a PK here. So a penalty kick opportunity. All right, I got to ask you, Larry, did you see it? I did not. I mean, to be fair, he's also right in front of the play. We're up here in a press box here. So this game potentially with a chance to be tied. Oh, 
So it looks like it's number 10 for Chesterton, which is Tommy Oros. 19 minutes left to go in this one, and a penalty coming for Tommy Oros, the senior. Here we go. And it is a goal for Chesterton. Tommy Oros ties the game at one. That's a big call right there. That is a game-changing call. Penalty kick allows Chesterton a chance to tie the game. And let's look at the region sports replay here. Tommy Oros. Shraka knew it was going to go to the right of the goal. Still got it underneath him. So we are tied at one. Nestrick keeping here for Lake Central. Feeding off to that left side. And we have another whistle to be Chesterton again. So a free kick here for Chesterton with 18, 10 left to go. Man, this game situation just feels like it just changed about a thousand percent. That definitely changed the tide. That was uh, that was a big call in the box. You know, usually Miljevic running ahead here. He's trying to build some momentum for Lake Central. Now off to the left, far side. You know, usually, rule of thumb is when you're gonna when you're gonna have a uh, PK in the box, you're gonna call PK in the box. It needs to be obvious to everybody. You don't you don't want to change the momentum of the game by such a big call in the box. And I and I'm not gonna sit here and say that that didn't happen. I just next stoppage will have a replay. And that might be right here as a throw-in coming for Lake Central. But, yeah, and I'm not here to say that he didn't see that. It very well might have happened. We can't see it from our vantage point. Take a look at the region sports replay here. Maybe we get a better chance at seeing that. Chesterton with another chance here. Nice or Lake Central with a chance, but Bodecker picks it up. And uh, replay wasn't able to get the best angle of that. Nathan's going to work on trying to get another angle of that. Appreciate that. Like Central, another offensive attack opportunity here. So one nice fed ball way to ahead. The corner. And this one kicked into the trees. All right, take a look here. See if we can potentially see something on the slowed down version. Yeah, it looks like it might have been just off the. It, it's, it is tough to see. Can't tell. I'm not going to make an inference either way, but. Yeah, I agree with you. It's got to be something that should be, I mean, in instant replay in any sport, it's got to be clear and obvious. And obviously, this isn't replay. That was a live action, but that is a uh, that is a tough call. But Chesterton's happy for it. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously the ball bounced at Chesterton's way on, on that. But, again, in a one nothing match, you want that call to stick out. Oh, it stuck out all right. Well, yeah. <laughs> not, not the way you not the way you were intending it to be. Yeah. <laughs> All right, under 16 minutes to play here. Some more substitutions come in. Trey Adams trying to pick this one up, but it'll be Shuaka. It looks like they're going to give him a goal kick there. So it was Adams to kick that one away. Noel Dean trying to feed that one ahead into their zone. Chesterton going to clear it. And when he clears it, he really cleared it. That might be heading to the football field over there. Ball boy's got a way to go to get that one. <laughs> Now, if they had timed it right, they would have waited and done it earlier in the game because that's when uh, there was a middle school game going on. Kaler and then the combination of Clark and Grimmer were playing over there. Another Good call there. Played right through them. And slow to get up. 
Chesterton. There was uh, Donella out there. He's going to get the free kick here. Under 15 to play. Trying to send it ahead. This one stopped by Lake Central with the header. It is loose in front of the goal net. This one bicycle kick that's going to go out. Now that would have been impressive. Had that potentially gone in. I think you got a potentially dangerous kick there with that bicycle kick and all them players around it. That that's a good point. That was yep. far above the waist. Can you kick like that? Can you do bicycle kicks? You can. No, um, I mean you. I mean you oh, personally. Oh, can I? Oh, <laughs> come on now. You, you I mean, everyone in the press box would take good money to see that. <laughs> yeah, I, I may not get back up. I think that would be all of us sitting here in this in this booth. <laughs> There'd be a lot of torn stuff. You ever seen a giraffe try and kick a soccer ball? Come on now. <laughs> I've heard a lot of weird analogies on the Region Sports <laughs> Network. That might that one might. Uh, <laughs> that's a unique one. I'm probably going to YouTube that when I get home now. A giraffe kicking a soccer ball? Yeah, you never know. I mean, yeah. I guess it could happen. But no, I have not. Does ever. your son kick a soccer ball? <laughs> say, Rody's son, is his nickname is Baby Giraffe. That one <laughs> goes out. That was off a header. So we'll see if that's going to be a corner kick or not. I believe it's going to be a corner kick for Lake Central. I'm continuing to wind down here in this tie game at one. Trying to see what that number is on the screen there. Kick is away. The oh, header. Nice header. And it is a goal for Lake Central. Into the student section they go. 2-1, Lake Central. Not sure that came off of, but there's a great header into the corner. Working on that region sports replay for you right now. I think it may have been Jacob Doldeen to get that one in. Nathan trying to cue that up here. Here we go. That may have been, I don't know, could you see the number on that one, Nathan? Yeah. I believe it was uh, Liam Grimes. Well, Grimes is a Chesterton oh, player. Oh, I'm sorry. So Grimes would be 15, so that could potentially be... Try to cue that back up again for you. I just saw the, the header. 11.33 left to go. Lake Central with the 2-1 lead. Certainly a golden opportunity. If Lake Central can get this win, if they can keep this lead right now, that would put them 6-0 and in conference play with, I believe, only two games remaining on the schedule. That may have been Trey Adams. Maybe one 13. more. Motter gets this one taken away. Is it Trey Adams? Yeah, I was think it's it Trey that Adams was, with yeah, the header for the I goal. I think it was Trey Adams. So another corner kick for Lake Central coming up here. So, yeah. So it was Trey Adams that got that header in to take the lead for Lake Central to one. Here comes the kick, another opportunity, but this one going to get kicked over. Putch feeding it. Still cleared by Chesterton here. Trying to keep that one here. No one in the backfield for Chesterton. They got all their numbers in. 
The offensive zone there for Lake Central. Here comes Chesterton now. This has been a physical game from the onset. Really good defense, a lot of good scoring opportunities for both teams. Holding place there. Chesterton feeding into the middle, taken by Lake Central. Now clearing. Kogel trying to feed it back to Kogel, but he runs right through it. Ooh, that might have been Kovalon. Nine twenty-five left to go in this one. Noldine fighting his defender. He's moving ahead. A couple of defenders to split. Ball is continued to be controlled by him. He's looking for a guy to get around. He has got impressive feet work here. Continue to go off, and we're going to have a whistle. And we have another Chesterton player down on the backside of the field. So uh, I'm not here to call <laughs> conspiracy theories or anything. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with what you mentioned earlier as another chance for Lake Central as they were driving on this end now we will name our Crow Company's Lantern Man Superhero of the Game brought to you by the Crow Companies they are proud to recognize the superheroes on the soccer pitch and certainly Trey Adams making a, a candidate for that it was just a great, great goal, great shot. Let's take a look at that re uh, Region Sports replay again on that goal. Yeah, that header by Trey Adams on the left side of the goal. Very impressive. Player still down for Chesterton. Just did a nice job sticking it in that upper corner. The player is up. Let's see if I can see the number there. It is blocked by the left hand of Chris Hall over there. We will get play resumed here with 9.05 to go. It is 45. Nine. Nine. Uh, Excuse yeah. me. I was like, wait a minute. Jacob we don't Perkins. have that many numbers on there. <laughs> we don't have that many numbers on here. It is Perkins who... Yeah, Perkins and a guy who, you know, is, a, is the leading goal scorer for Chesterton here. A name that we've mentioned a few times, but not in terms of getting close to the net. So Lake Central will start here, 9.05. Noldine, the left foot. A lot of coincidences in this game. Michael That's what we'll call them, coincidences. Lots of coincidences. I'm trying to think there's a movie with that line. I'm trying to remember the, the movie. No, excuse me. It is a, uh, it's a Seinfeld episode. <laughs> there are no big coincidences. There are just coincidences. <laughs> There was one where they're trying to steal the statue. The, the guy that was nah. cleaning Jerry's house steals the statue. <laughs> yes. I don't have much knowledge in my head, but if Seinfeld knowledge, I am full of it. Yeah, well, that explains a lot. Yeah, I, uh -huh. yeah. And I get to teach the youth of America, folks. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I thought there was hope at one time. But once they get to the high school and they have Mr. Rody over here, yeah, absolutely. He, fi <laughs> <laughs> he fixes all my messes. 7.45 left to go in what has been a stellar matchup here as we anticipated between Lake Central and Chesterton. Game not over, though. Lake Central does lead 2-1. And this next 725 can get real interesting here, Michael. I was say, like, as we've talked about, Chesterton, not a team that is down very often. I mean, they have literally 
given up tonight, literally half of what they've given up all season. And by that, I mean they've given up four goals all year long until tonight, and they've already given up two. Ranked seven nationally is Chesterton, number three in the state of Indiana. Which tells you something. If they're ranked three in Indiana and seven nationally, we have a lot of good teams here in the state of Indiana. Very much so. If I was any good at my job, I would have wrote down those top two or top six nationally. But I noticed no one came to my defense on that one. It's <laughs> 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 Nathan Laird, everybody. 6.20 left to go. I noticed he didn't want to work with me tonight. Well, that, that might be telling you something right there. Yeah, Ed, yeah. Picked up here for Chesterton. Kogel. Feeding to the back. Donella. Feeding way ahead. And it's going to be Schrocko who's going to take this one here. All right, look at that. We got St. Ignatius out of Cleveland. Fishers, Penn. North Oldham. Goshen, Noblesville, Madison Central, all ahead of Chesterton. Coming in clutch, Mr. Jeff Rohde. Thank you, sir. I didn't know you knew how to use the Internet. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we kind of had to in this uh, teaching world that we live in right now. <laughs> 5.30 left to go. Chesterton, probably a few more drives in them, but Lake Central going to certainly take their time down this throw-in. And play probably a little bit of a keep-away game. Passes to Motter. Now here's Noel Dean. Trying to get around the defense there. Putch up to Egnance. Intercepted by Chesterton. Met Egnance. Now Noel Dean. And we have a tackle made by Kogel. And it'll be Lake Central ball. So Putch will kick this one away when the official gives him the go-ahead. It's going to be interesting here now that we're in the last five minutes of second half. Lake Central ahead. Anytime they substitute, the clock's going to stop now. Feeding old Dean. Misses it between the legs. Mauder trying to pick this one up. Here comes Chesterton now. Far side of the pitch, pitching it back. Now clearing, working it straight ahead. Adams trying to chase this one down. He will grab it. Almost having it stolen away there, and it is going to be picked up by Chesterton, but they are going to say it's Lake Central ball on the foul. That was Ryan O'Dell on the far side. Huffing and puffing as he didn't want that call made against him. So a free kick coming here. Central. you got to love the fan, a friendly banner between fans at a ball game, huh? Uh, certainly something we missed <laughs> a season ago. So, yeah, I'll take it any way we can get it. It's been great to be at football stadiums. They have the, the fans at the football games, making Friday nights extra special. Uh, that little BFE, the big uh, Friday energy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, folks, this will be my last broadcast of the of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Agnance off the off the feet. Agnance had this one stolen away as the Lake Central student section over there. 3.03 left to go. Trying to clear. Chesterton picks it up. Near side. Maybe Perkins, we do have it as Chester, or, uh, Chesterton ball here. Free kick as it'll be Donella to kick this one away. 2.40 left to go. Really clearing that one, working ahead. Nestrick heading that one. Now Agnance. Picking it up here, Kogel. And it'll be past the touchline, so Kogel will throw it in. Far side. Lake Central picking it up now. 
Agnan's clearing this one. Motter going to try to get to it, but he won't. Chesterton with 2.10 left to go. Fans continuing to scream for either side as we are getting down to the final two minutes. This one goes to Schraka. He picks it up, and he saves it and jumps on top. Two minutes to go exactly. Is there a potential card coming? Nope, I think just trying to get guys out of the, the box potentially. Oh, well, we have substitutions coming in here. Substitutions from Chesterton. I'm not sure. Is it the last four minutes the clock has to stop on substitutions? La last five, but I'm, I'm not sure why we Because it was it. Chesterton making the substitutions, correct? I didn't think anybody was injured. I'm not sure why we stopped that. And well, because the substitution did come in for Chesterton. Yeah, but the clock should have run. Oh, okay. 143 to go. Big Central really putting on this pressure here defensively to try to keep it away as Motter has it here. Looking for Noldine ahead. It's going to go past the touchline. It's going to be a throw in for Chesterton here. I guess I just don't understand why they stopped play when the goalkeeper had it, and then we restarted with a drop ball just to bring a sub in. I didn't see anybody hurt. That that's where I'm. Now it did look like somebody may have been limping out because I saw Chris Hall running out onto the field. So gotcha. that it may, okay. I, and it may have just been a quick. Sixty-six seconds remaining. Chesterton really with one last opportunity here. They are in the zone that they need to be in to make that happen. Under a minute to play officially, but Lake Central with it now, and they're going to say it's going to be Chesterton ball on the foul. Forty-five seconds to go. It'll be a free kick. Huge implications in this one in terms of DAC standings. Kicked, blocked, and it's a goal for Chesterton with 33 seconds to go. Tie game at two. Chesterton out of nowhere. We'll work on the region sports replay. A big gust of wind coming through. The stands. Let's look at the region sports replay. Twenty nine seconds, trying to feed it up to Agnans on that right side. Feeds it with the right foot. Oh, oh just clears the middle. Nobody in the right spot for Lake Central, unfortunately. It'll be a throw in for Lake Central. 14 seconds remain. Clock continues to run. Trying to feed it down. Picked up by Bodecker, and that's how this game will come to an end in regulation. With 33 seconds to go in the game, Chesterton comes back and scores the game tying goal. And we're knotted up at two. A little overtime here. Two seven-minute periods. And if it's still tied after that, we go to kicks from the mark. So I got to ask you, if you're Jacob Schraka, how are you feeling right now? Uh, you know. That was a t I mean, he was there. Let's look at the replay again here on the Region Sports Network. I don't know who, who we see. They try to see that number. So we get set for overtime here at Lake Central. Man, it has been quite a game. And the goal was scored by... The goal was scored by Ethan Schlayer. So they will flip right away. So after the first seven, no matter if there's a score or not, they'll flip right away, play the second seven minutes. 
And then we go. Excuse me, Ethan Schleier, the goal scorer for Chesterton. What an unbelievable goal for the senior. Well, we knew it would be good. It has been good, and it's not over. We're going to call a captain's out for a coin flip. Just yet, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go into overtime. So we've seen some certainly interesting calls. Lake Central has had their opportunities to score. I mean, this could have been a you know a six six nothing ball game or a four nothing ball game at the very least at one point. A questionable call against a handball, which allowed a penalty kick for Chesterton to tie the game at one. Lake Central off a corner kick and a header. Took the lead two to one. And then with 33 seconds remaining, Schleier gets one into the back of the net. And we are tied at two. Plenty of candidates here for our Crowd Company's Lantern Man superhero of the game. Crowd Company's proud to recognize the superheroes on the soccer pitch. A lot of opportunities there. So seven minutes on the board. Teams in their huddles. So depending on how this one goes in regulation, Lake Central coming into the day had only given up more than two goals once, and it was a 4 nothing loss to Penn. Chesterton has scored at least three goals in all but one game this season. They stand here at two. And they had, coming into tonight, only given up four goals on the entire season. And tonight they've given up two. So Chesterton gets it first. So there, can you explain again here? We have to play two seven-minute now, yep. Why not just one? Is there a reason for that? It's uh, Perkins here on this near side. So that they have the opportunity to play on each end of the field before gotcha. they go okay. kicks from the mark. Okay. So when feeding into the towards in front of the net, but it is kicked wide and high. <laughs> so the Chesterton with an opportunity over here. Trying to feed into the middle. Coming through, Lake Central able to kick that one away, though. Here comes Mauder trying to save that one for Lake Central, feeding it into Noldine. Chesterton keeps, though. Goes back off into this far corner. A lot of soccer here tonight on the Region Sports Network. Started the game a little bit later than we usually would after a great JV game as well, and now a fantastic varsity game. Motter trying to feed to Noel Dean on that near side. Forgot it. Picking it back up. Trying to fake the guys out. He's got a, he's got really nice footwork, Jacob Noel Dean. We'll have a whistle. It'll be Chesterton ball. 522. I think it went outside the touch line. Oh, there. did it go? Okay. Yep. Throw in. Picked up by Odell for Chesterton. Noldine. Battling with Grimes. Nestrick. Grimes leaves it behind. Here comes Lake Central. Here comes. Agnance, Agnance, trying to feed it on that left side, trying to looking for an open lane. It goes off of Chesterton, so that'll be a throw in for Lake Central. 4:40 to go. Noldine grabs that one. This one feeds ahead. Putch trying to send it in, but he goes off to the right near the flagpole there. Which, if you can see the flagpole on your 
screen. I don't know if Zach can hear me to move up to the flagpole. The wind is whipping in that direction, as you can see there. Thank you, Zach. It's going to be a corner kick. Actually, it was deflected off Chesterton. Okay, so a corner kick for Lake Central. And this is where Lake Central scored both their goals off corners. Trying to feed this one in. And it gets headed away by Chesterton. Under four minutes to go in this first half of the seven-minute quarters. Chesterton gets it picked off. Agnance feeds it ahead. Throw in for Lake Central. Trying to feed it, Bodecker, but it's going to get played through. Motter trying to chase this one down. Chesterton will keep it in. And it'll be Chesterton ball here with 3.16 left to go. Substitution for Chesterton. Appreciate everyone tuning in tonight here on the Region Sports Network. Lengthy night of soccer here from St. John, Indiana. Lake Central trying to feed this one through. Punch. Nice feeding ball. And, a, and we'll have this one kicked away. Time will stop. We'll see what the official is going to call. Uh, maybe a Does he card. dig it into a shirt? Yep, he is pulling out a yellow card here. With 2.46 left to go. The question in is, overtime. Was, was that in the box or just outside? I think it was just outside the box, it looks like. And who was that running off the field, Nathan? Can we see? May have been number 19, Kruper, over there. So a free kick for Lake Central. This is where we saw the ball meet this wall that gets set up for defensemen, and we saw a handball called earlier. Now the official is going to move them back a little bit. So this will be Putch to take it, the senior midfielder. 2.46 to go. Bo Decker jumping and waiting. Kick is over, and it is over the net. So got a little just too much on it, and that may have been a factor of the wind as well, as we have pointed out throughout this broadcast tonight, Larry. Yeah, he just got just too much under it. That barely cleared uh, the crossbar. He took a little bit off of that. He cleared that wall nicely. Maybe could have hooked it into a corner there. Sam with the Alex Central with the header trying to keep it in here. Motter trying to fight. But Chesterton picking it up. That was Grimes who was able to send it ahead. Nestrick feeding into the middle. This one intercepted by Chesterton. Now trying to feed this one ahead to Perkins. Feeding way ahead. Kicked off by Lake Central. Perkins running into his own guy there. That was Schleier. This one fed ahead. This one will likely roll out of bounds, and I believe it will be a free kick for Lake Central. It'll be Trey Adams to potentially kick this one away. That one taken by Kuz. Kuz Kuz. Saved in bounds here. Here's Perkins meeting against the defense of Enyart. Picked up now by McCabe. And we do have a player down. It'll be Lake Central ball here on that foul. One minute to go here, Larry. One minute in the first overtime. Yep, in the first overtime, yep. It's almost like wrestling, Nathan. 30, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I feel like we've been here as long as a wrestling meet uh, typically uh -huh. takes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hutch kicks this one away. Lake Central feeding it, and, and, it's, and it's in for Lake Central. Another goal for Lake Central. 
their third goal of the night, and the student section will parade on down to celebrate with their team. Looks like that, uh, who is that number there as I look back on the feed? We still have one more overtime to play. We'll look at the region sports replay here. Uh, number 11, I believe. Ingets. Sam Egnance. Now here's Chesterton now with an opportunity. Feeding off to that near corner, crossing across, and it's going to go out. 19 seconds to go in this first overtime. We do have to play seven more. But Lake Central leads it. Leads it 3-2 at the moment. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So that first overtime will come to an end. Lake Central does get a goal off of the boot of Sam Egnance, the senior. So they're just going to, they'll, they'll just switch sides right away. There's going to be no time in between. They just switch sides and move on. So it continues to amaze me. Chesterton has given up coming into tonight. Only four goals all season long. Lake Central has scored three tonight. Let's take a look at another region sports replay here. On that right side of the goal by Sam Egnance, number 11. I'm sorry? Yeah. It is 11, so Sam Egnance scoring that goal. Nestor kicking that one away. So they will switch the sides for goalkeepers. Chesterton. Certainly not in a position this season like they have been in tonight. And really playing well through it, in my opinion. Picking this one here, Bodowski. Across the field. We are in this situation because Chesterton scored with 33 seconds remaining in regulation time. Off a shot from Ethan Schleier. Picking this one up, Wadowski. Schraka keeping that one there. Oh, they're going to say he was out of bounds with the ball. So they're going to call a corner kick for Chesterton. Corner kick for Chesterton. So corner kick for Chesterton because Schraka was out of bounds and they kick that one in. Here's another chance for Chesterton. This one goes over the net. Chesterton. Had a chance there. I'm sure they will have more in this final five minutes, 30 seconds that remains in this second overtime. Larry, when the Doonland gets together, it's always a barn burner. It doesn't matter what sport it is. Uh, yep. Chesterton trying to feed. Taken away by Miljevic. Now in the middle. Body's trying to fight here. And it is Donella who kicks it off of his own player there. Noldine, left side. We do have some Lake Central players down on the field for cramping. No whistle as of right now. And now Chesterton has a player go down, and I'm sure we will have a whistle here. And there's the whistle as... Yep, stop the clock. 4.37 left to go. So there was at least one Lake Central player down, down here near midfield. At some point, Larry, we, uh, I know our fans are eagerly anticipating the uh, our award tonight, our crowd company's Lantern Man superhero of the game. Certainly a lot of candidates. Have you got uh, you got someone in mind that you're thinking, or a few people maybe? Yeah, a couple. 
He's not willing to divulge any sneak peeks at this point yeah. in time. He hasn't even shared those with me. These are like top <laughs> secret. He's got it in an envelope, sealed. <laughs> Can only be broken if you bring a, uh, a yellow card or a red card up here to break the break the seal. That's right. All we need is Steve Harvey to open the envelope. But will he announce the right name is the question. <laughs> I was going to go there, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to go there, but I'm glad you did. Sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry, Steve. In case you're, in case you're listening tonight. He, he, he might be. Michael Bradner is his name, Steve. Michael <laughs> Bradner. <laughs> Steve, if you want, I can be reached at 219. <laughs> I was actually going to look up Nathan's phone number and announce <laughs> that one, but decided better I want to keep my job. I'm assuming I still have it after tonight. I haven't been told one way or another yet. Yeah, I <laughs> They're just waiting for me to finish the broadcast, then uh, be a, uh, a late Wednesday red card for me. Agnance so far has the game-winning goal in this matchup. Under four minutes to play. Pink slip will be in your locker when you get back. I've had a locker all these years. <laughs> There's something slightly unusual for this match is we haven't had one offsides call in this match. Can you not jinx things? which is very unusual because Cheston Lake Central's of the past, there was a lot of offsides traps going on. Well, I guess it's kind of hard to have offsides when the majority, majority of your players have been down with cramping, whether you're Lake Central or Chesterton. Three oh seven to play. This is the second overtime. This will be the last overtime, and Larry, if if this were to be tied at the end of this regulation or this overtime, what would happen? Kicks from the mark. The old one of the most exciting things in soccer, the old PKs. Oh, there's the offside call. <laughs> there Literally, it is, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. We're out of here. <laughs> Two thirty-three left to go in this matchup. Lake Central trying to keep on this end here. Feed to Motter down on that side, the far side of the field. Gonna do a little bit of battle, get shoved down. They're gonna call a throw in here for Chesterton. Kind of an interesting call there, or no call there, I should say. Well. I have noticed the fans have let the referee know how they feel about him today. I feel like I've had to inter interject a time or two. So Chesterton with another chance here. Marmalejo coming up field. Getting around the defense. Feeding into the middle. Lake Central trying to pick this one up. They do. And this one will go past the touch line. It'll be Chesterton throwing. 90 seconds remain. We'll have to watch closely that final 40-ish seconds. Noldeen. The call goes Lake Central's way with 1.15 to go. And there's no, I mean, there's no rush for Lake Central to kick this, right? No, there is not. 65 seconds to go. Kicks it ahead, deep into their zone. One minute on the clock. And we do have a whistle and a stoppage again. This time it is a Lake Central player that is down on the far side of the field, right in front of their bench. One minute on the clock. With 56 seconds to go. I definitely cannot see that number as... Uh, Chris Hall working on the Lake Central player. I'm kind of wondering if Nathan had dinner plans tonight because it uh, doesn't seem like we're going to be done anytime soon. What's that? 
Well, since you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep my mouth shut because I'm the only one that's eaten in this broadcast booth <laughs> since uh, we've gotten here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cottage cheese in your tuna salad sandwich. To be fair, they are nowhere close to what I've actually eaten. I've had uh, chicken salad with some crackers, some honeydew, and uh, you did say honeydew. Chester with another chance here. Egnitz oh. hits his own player, a chance to clear. 45 seconds, Guerrero trying to pick this one up. He hit Bess. Guerrero feeding off to that left side. 38 seconds to go. It'll be out of bounds. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds on. And it's a free kick or a goal kick here for Lake Central. 20 seconds remain. Guerrero trying to fight for the possession here. This one going to go past the touchline. They're going to say uh, Chesterton ball, 14 seconds. The throw in, the header picked up. Chesterton with a chance. Can Lake Central grab? Here's a chance for no whistle. 2 1. And Lake Central gets the W against Chesterton. The number seven ranked team in the country. Lake Central, ninth in the state of Indiana, gets the win. Three to two on senior night. Great match here. Absolutely outstanding match. It looks like we got a little... Uh, Maybe an argument down uh, in the corner there on the far side of the field. Lake Central improves to 6 0 in conference play. Chesterton drops their first loss of the season. And you said it, Larry, what a spectacular match this was. It took two overtimes. It was everything you had hoped for from. Uh, Cheston Lake Central and you know obviously uh, anytime these two teams and soccer get together it's a great game and uh, this one you know when, when you looked at Chesterton they had tied Penn one to one Lake Central had lost to Penn four to nothing so you tried to balance the the common opponents there um, but man Lake Central came ready to play tonight all right let's go ahead and look at our crowd company's lantern man superhero uh, of the game. Brought to you by the crowd companies. They are proud to recognize the superheroes on the soccer pitch. Larry, who are you going to go for in this one? Well, you got to go with uh, Sam Egnitz. Uh, you know, that go ahead goal in uh, overtime to uh, put what eventually put Lake Central uh, over and to win uh, it was just a great goal. Let's watch the replay here on that goal. That was the winner for Lake Central. They took the lead 3-2, and that is the final score, 3-2. So a perfect winner for our crowd company's Lantern Man superhero of the game. Our executive producer, Chris Ramirez, coordinating producer, Nathan Laird. You broadcast crew tonight, myself, Michael Brandner, and the great Larry Babcock. Zach Miller on the camera doing a fantastic job tonight. And then Nathan Laird and Evan Capozzi on the production tonight. Big thanks to Chris Enyard, the AD here at Lake Central. And then Shane Clark here and Lucas Sabidra of Chesterton, the coaches for both teams uh, respectively. And, of course, big thanks to you guys on the Region Sports Network. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. So thank you very much. We'll have more football coming up this Friday. Make sure you stay tuned to the Region Sports Network for all that information coming up this Friday night. You've been watching Game 9 of the Region Sports Network, the only game in town.